Welcome back to Playdate Central. Today, we are going to be reviewing this unique narrative-style adventure game called Lost Your Marbles. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on anything Playdate. Don't forget to leave a like, and let's get started. Lost Your Marbles follows our main character as she's on a journey to go throughout her island to find her lost dog, Minty, who she was supposed to take on a walk. The beginning of the game starts off with our main character receiving something called a Marbleizer. When worn on your head, this device will literally transmit the correct answer to any question asked. That way, you have so much more time to think other thoughts. The very first thing that I noticed about this game was the music. I loved it right away, and I think it fit the funny, upbeat, cheery type of game that this is perfectly. The next thing I noticed were the graphics. Oh my gosh, the graphics were great. For just being in black and white, they put so much detail into every little thing. All of the background things, the animation, every little detail I feel like was covered. They even had this map that was super detailed for just being in black and white. Now on the narrative side of things, the story to this game was super entertaining. I feel like it flowed really well. There were a bunch of different characters to talk to, a bunch of different storylines you can interact with. The story kept me engaged the whole time, and I did not feel like it took away from the gameplay at all, which is a great thing. The gameplay element came up when you were asked a question or you had to make a decision. All you would have to do is use the bottom half of the crank, control this ball to go through a maze, and then crack and smash the correct light bulb or thought bubble that you wanted for your idea. And this will change the story completely. It's a really cool gameplay mechanic that was executed very, very well. And it's so interesting because it almost feels like you're playing pinball through a maze. Each of the different levels that I went through were very unique and kept me entertained the whole time, sort of having to find my way through the different tunnels and ramps. Overall, the gameplay felt fun and satisfying. I really liked this game and how you could change the story based on what answers you choose, leaving open a ton of possibilities. Let me know what you thought down below. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything Playdate. And don't forget to leave a like. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.